subscribe to the YouTube page. Uh, you know what I mean? Just, just check it out. Maybe you got some time you can look into it. We're just, we just trying to uplift our people and tell our people, man, that that actually got real life. chapter 28 verse 54 so that the man that is tender among you so your brother that's tender right keep reading and very delicate his eyes shall be evil towards his brother so now we got what black on black crime black on brown crime we now hate each other that's what his evil eyes towards his brother read and towards the wife uh -huh. of his bosom so now he also got a problem with this woman nosotros vemos eso mucho en nuestra familia man always got a problem with the woman read and towards the remnant of his children. Towards his children too, which he's gonna do what? Which he shall leave. How many of y'all know your, your friends and family members that don't have fathers? El, el papá mío se crió sin, sin su papá. I didn't, you know, my widow wasn't around. So I'm, and now let me also get Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So that's one curse. Now, let me ask y'all this real quick. Did the Chinese man grow up without his father? As a nation, as a collective, as a whole unit of people, is it nationwide for them to say, we don't know our dads? They don't. Grow out of it. The Arabics, right? Do they grow up without their fathers? Once again, we're speaking as, not in an individual, but as a nation. You know, right? Now let's also talk about the white man. He, right? So that was just one curse. Now let's read this other curse. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I speak unto thee. So if y'all read the history on it, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt and they left Egypt, right? They walked out. Now he's saying, God's telling the Israelites here, I'm going to bring you back on ships. The word Egypt is synonymous with 
slavery or bondage. Right. It's Mizraim. That's the true name of Egypt. So he's just saying now, I'm going to bring you back to slavery, back to bondage, with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more. So we're not going to see the original Egypt that we left. Well, uh, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. When we got here, did they sell us? Read. For bond men and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. The word buy in Hebrew means redeem. Malcolm X tried it. Has he redeemed us? No. Martin Luther King tried it. Did he redeem us? Marcus Garvey tried it. Did he redeem us? No. Hatui, who was a Dominican of the islands, right? He tried to what? Save his people. Did they do it? No. They staked them on a cross and burnt them alive. So we as a people have never been freed. Just from those two precepts right there, those two curses, who can we say fall under that, uh, that category? Who would y'all say it be? Any idea, brother? You still don't know? After those two curses? You can't be the man that's living in Israel today. He don't live like that. That's right. You still don't know. Well, let me get this. Give me Job 30 and 30. 30 and 30. Because a lot of us have this misconception that the Bible's a white man's book. Right? We get that misconception. And then uh, somebody else can grab from you. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, 1 and 5. I'm going to You got Job 30 and 30? Oh. Go ahead and read that. Hey, they're about to dip out. Job oh, chapter right. 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Right, his skin's black upon him. So I know y'all ain't got time. Y'all trying to have fun and whatnot. So we just trying to, you know, enlighten our people. Read that real quick so they can hear. My skin is black upon me. His skin is what? My skin is black upon me. His skin is black. This is Job. Job's an Israelite. So if he's, this, if he's saying his skin is black, what does his people look like? We already know that they're black. Right? Exactly. We already know that. So that must mean what then? We got to be those descendants. Yeah. All right. Y'all take a fly. Check us out. He's all broken. No me miente. No me miente ahora. Pero agarra una. Está todo. Ya me sé. thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So God right there is telling the Israelites that if we listen to what his laws and statutes are, we will be put on high. Now let me ask y'all this. As the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, are we high in every country that we go to? No. So then it's just, no. Are we on high, brother? Are we on high as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives? We are on high, but they don't want to be on high. Right. Of course. They got us way at the bottom. Man. We gotta always be on high because they can't stop the bottom. Oh yeah, right. that's true. So now let me get verse 15. So now this is what God's gonna say to the Israelites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the yeah, word God just means power. Yeah. Understand that people say, oh God's God. You are God on earth. And that's in the Bible. We can show you that too. You are God on earth. So God is a little power. Yeah, I was creating his image. Yeah, right, right. Your brother knows something. Man. Brother knows. All praise He got some knowledge. So our power told us. That if we don't listen, we go ahead and read this. Book of Deuteronomy yeah. chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me ask you, is it a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's supposed to be a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Go to uh, verse 28, uh, 68. We're gonna, I'm gonna read you this one curse real quick, brother. Okay. Can you tell me what group of people this happened to? Read it. And the Lord, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies mm -hmm. for bondmen and bondwomen. So the Israelites, they were slaves in Egypt. They came out of Egypt, they walked into Israel. 
Right. God just told them, I'm going to bring you back right. to slavery on ships. Right. Now, what group of people went on slavery on slave ships? Melanated people. That's right. Now, when you say melanated, though, we have to be specific because the whole world is melanated except the white man. Right. So we can't just say, you know, that happened to the Arabic man or the Hindu Indian. Right, right. The African. So-called African Americans, Hispanics, yeah. and Natives. We are the people who fit these persons. Right? That's right. So whenever you get a chance, bro, would you take a five? Yeah, yeah. So whenever you get a chance, y'all go ahead and kind of look us up. We got YouTube. We over there on the phone. So y'all get a chance, look us up on YouTube and get into these scripts. And the thing is, a lot of us, we read it with the lens of Christianity. But Christianity was is a white man's doctrine. It was created by white people to what? To have us in our stuff in our heads. But when you actually read in the Bible, all the people in the book are melanated. Right. They call the ambulance for the Job 30 and 30, Job says, I am black. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5 is Mexican woman. One of Solomon's five says she is black and beautiful. Now who says that? Right. We do. Right. So whenever y'all brothers got time, you know, we ain't trying to hold up. Check, check us out. Yeah. We here to edify our people. Wake us up. Let's so, what it's all to you. Check it out. Check it out. Appreciate it. Great. Chapter 4, verse 4. Right. But he answered and said, uh -huh. It is written, it is written right. Man shall not live by bread alone. So, sister, I'm telling you this day, you got to come back to the Bible more, right? Don't just start going to church. Live church, right? Live the Bible, sis. Go ahead. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So, we got to live by every word that proceeded out of the word of God, which is written up in this book right here, right? Let me get Deuteronomy 20 and 15. Here. Right? Let me show you what happened to us as a people, right? Let me give you a nationality right here, right? Watch this. Right? Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Watch this. Here. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Right? But it shall come to pass, right? if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Hey, so because of this, if they are his people, right? We don't listen to good information, right? But go ahead. To observe and do all his commandments. And we was commissioned to do all God's commandments, right? Go ahead. And his statutes. And his statutes, go ahead. Which I command thee this day. Right, and I'm giving you to this, this day, right? Go ahead. That all these curses. That all these what? All these curses. And we just said we're a blessed people or cursed people as a whole today. Are we a good cursed people, go ahead. Shall come upon thee. So all these things that's going to be written here, these curses, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, go ahead. And overtake thee. And it was going to overtake us, right? Let me get 68, go ahead. The, the, praises, right? the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt is another word for bondage and captivity. So we went into captivity or slavery, right? With what? With ship. With what? With ship. Have you ever heard that before in your church? You never heard that, right? Go ahead. By the way whereof. By the way whereof. Go ahead. I spake unto thee. He said, I spake unto you. Go ahead. Thou shalt not see it no more. So we wasn't going to see our homeland no more. Okay, sis, go ahead. And there, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now we was going to be sold unto our friends. Sold unto your enemies. So we were sold unto our enemies right here in America, right? Right over there in the Caribbean Islands, go ahead. For bond men. For slave men. And, and bond women. And bond women, go ahead. And no man mm -hmm. shall buy you. No man that have redeemed this yet, right? Are we free from slavery? Are we free from captivity? We're not, right? So you the Israelite sister, you got to come back and keep the commandments in the last days, all right? Uh -huh. Just say it for Lord, all right? The brother gave you a call. Look us up, sister, all right? We gotta come up, put on modest apparel in the last days, because this place is gonna be overtaken by enemies, right? Uh, and our young women are gonna be raped on these streets if we don't clean ourselves up, all right? So that's the message for y'all today, okay? Come back and serve the Lord, all right? Oh, all praise, all praise. Y'all be safe out here, all right? Oh, praise. Come here, sir.